ericmother.com. Let's take a look at the cryptos, and this is for November 15th, 2018. We've seen a big drop in the cryptos over the last two days. And in this video, we're going to take a look at some of the cryptos. Take a look at Bitcoin. We'll take a look at Litecoin. We'll take a look at Ethereum. And I believe I'll take a quick look at EXP. Not sure I'll mention EOS, maybe. And we'll take a look at BCH. All right, so most of them are down. Notably, is this huge move by BCH. I mean, that is, that's, that's a massive drop, a one day drop for any instrument. But I'll contend to saying this when it comes to Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin Gold. I find those to be very unreliable instruments in terms of what they are suggesting for the market. So I wouldn't put too much credence in what they are doing because they are not leadership in any direction, down or up. All right. All right. Right now we're looking at Bitcoin trading at 5735. And there is a huge risk, one that I've talked about for many months, the risk being that Bitcoin drops below 50 on its monthly RSI, if it does, we can expect a massive continuation to the downside. So the key here is whether or not it can hold and sustain above RSI 50 on the monthly with the risk being that a drop below 50 is going to invite more selling, in fact, even bigger chunks to the downside if and when we slash below the monthly RSI 50 level. So that's a key level to watch. If we can hold above 50, then this drop is not going to be as destructive as it might seem on the surface. Of course, one thing that we've watched for Bitcoin over the last so many months is ever since we dropped below zero on the MACD. And the fact that the MACD for BTC is trading at all-time lows, the risk continues to favor downside price action. So that continues to be the risk. Nothing has changed in terms of the indicators showing this momentum generally is still pointing down. So that's pretty much one of the reasons why we haven't really been able to gather upside momentum until some of these things can resolve. Now, in the short term, what we can do, or one way to look at Bitcoin is by taking a look at the lows, and this is a weekly chart now, and we can use the lows here from November 2017, and the level to watch there is 5 810.7 going back to this weekly close here which was on November 6th 2017 so right now we are trading below that level so this means that this range that has been doing its best to hold is under threat. And the more we break, so this is where the market's been generally coming and finding support. And so we know that a break of this price level is going to be ultimately bearish. So right now, anything below this can be used to pretty much determine that the market still, as far as the cryptos are concerned, is due for a major drop. And recovery back above this level is what the crypto bulls want to see. And so we have that price to watch 5810.7. Anything back above that would be holding support, which has held pretty much for 2018. And again, failure to hold this level will continue to push the cryptos lower. Now, one of the reasons from a technical standpoint why we've been down 
over the last couple of days is because on the daily, yesterday, we slashed below RSI 30.9 on the daily time frame. And as long as that's the case, we can continue to expect net net downside price action. The same thing can be said on the four hourly, where we can see that pretty much we've dropped below 30.9 at some point yesterday and we continue holding below 30.9 on the four hourly suggesting that net net the downside pressure continues let's take a look at ethereum and we can see that the ethereum monthly for example here we at the time we saw this drop it moved to fresh lows again fresh lows move here which we saw for this sell period and continues to trade pretty much at all-time lows the problem here is that we are not seeing any energy that is suggesting a recovery so as long as we are looking at this RSI on the monthly for Ethereum pointing lower we are still looking at a market that net net continues to be bearish and the easiest path is to the downside if you take a look at the weekly we can use the closing low here which goes back to the closing low of July on a weekly closing basis July 10th and we can see that it is still above that price level but this is something to watch we can use this level because a break below this close from July week of July 10th 2018 excuse me 17 that would be bearish and the level to watch here is 157.40 which goes back to this close anything below this price is going to be ultra bearish and of course if we can hold above this level here then the current move of the last two days is pretty much all there is for now to the downside that is but any future break below this line would really spook traders and would lead to more selling now of course i don't have to show you the daily rsi which is just now moving below 30.9 the more it stays below 30.9 on the daily rsi expect continued downside pressure we're looking at the four hourly which continues to trade below 30.9 hence we've seen pretty much this action to the downside if we take a look at ripple one can draw a line somewhere here something like that and this line gives us interesting levels for example this is a different this was a great entry support here or attempted support a break resistance 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 so as long as we are trading below the black line net net ripple should still be sideways to down now one thing that is a little bit different as far as ripple is concerned is it can actually at some point change direction and would easily be moving above this range on the MACD which would need moving above this so if ripple at some point can break out above this weekly closing high and I'll give you the price based on the monthly here in a little bit but if it can break out above this level given that the Mac Mac D's are above zero that would actually lead to movement to the upside now the risk here is things deteriorate to where the Mac D drops below zero that would be a bearish sign of course and of course if we bring back the weekly RSI ultimately you'd want to see the RSI jump above this line 
which is where it is seeing recent resistance on the weekly. Now take a look at the monthly for Ripple and if it can just stabilize and ultimately move above the recent monthly closing high and the level to watch there is any movement above 0 0.58199 which is the monthly closing high here that move would be bullish and again the level to watch there is 0 0.58199 going back to this close for the month of September 2018 that would also coincide with our RSI moving to new highs and also if it can break out and hold would also suggest that we have crossover of the MACD and back above zero so that's a bullish scenario if it happens for ripple so if one wants to play this to the upside it is best to wait for momentum, best to wait for Ripple to move above 0 0.58199. If we take a look at Litecoin, we see here one of the issues right now is that it is moving to fresh lows on the, on the RSI, which is not a good sign. So right now momentum continues to favor the downside. This would also be similar to what EOS is doing. We can see that as of right now, the RSI is pointing down. That's not good. And especially if and when should it move below 50, that would be very, very bearish. But right now it's pointing down, not the direction you want to see for momentum. And we can actually even see that the MACD right now is also moving below zero. So net net, what that means is that it the odds continue to favor continuation to the downside. If we take a look at EOS from a weekly standpoint, we can take a look at the recent weekly closing low going back to earlier this year. And this is a close from March 12th. Two thousand eighteen and the weekly closing low to watch here is four point six one oh eight. So four point six one oh eight. Anything below that is still ultra ultra bearish. And if it can hold above this level, then that's what the bulls want to see. So we can use this price level to determine the sentiment. Anything below this is very bearish bouncing and holding about this line ultimately is a sign of a market that is finding stability where it needs to so this is the line right here holding would be good a break of course would be a sign of continued bearish action now if we can also take a look i said i was going to mention bitcoin cash and here we can see right now it is moving to all-time lows or at least we can say that the RSI is pointing down. The risk here is also for lower prices. At the beginning of the video, I was talking about this is not the best instrument to track because it tends to be very volatile. Any type of signal it gives is, in my opinion, tends to be suspect. Like a couple of weeks ago, it was breaking out. Looked like it was going to lead the market to a recovery, but that was a fake move. So not the most stable instrument. Right now we can see that it continues to trade lower, breaking recent lows of the weekly RSI. And as long as that's the case, that's not a good sign. We can take a look at the MACDs. We can see that the MACD on the weekly is being rejected at the zero line. Not a good sign, but again, let's not put too much weight in this instrument in terms of leadership in the market because it tends to be all over the place as i mentioned just last week i believe it was moving higher with some velocity but this is again its behavior very unstable so even this move lower here 
is not something I would put too much weight in terms of telling us what the market wants to do. And of course, we've seen it move below RSI 30.9 on the daily and below 30.9 this very hour on the four hourly as it drops below 30.9. So net net, pretty much we're looking at the crypto space continuing to trade sideways at best, bearish at worst. And let me go back to BTC. Take a look at a longer monthly view. And if you go back to my observations early in the year, I mentioned the fact that it might be until 2021 20, at the earliest when we get true upside momentum. Now, can we get moves that last for, you know, 10, 20, 30 percent along the way? Yes. But for true momentum, something similar to this, similar in any form or fashion, it's going to take many years to digest this massive gain from 2017, 2016. And so my thinking continues to be until at the earliest 2021, the cryptos are going to be sideways at best. There are going to be periods of good swing trades to the upside, but nothing massive to the upside, no sustained movement until 2021 because it needs at least three years to digest and reset and it needs three years for the ultimate more the breakout to come in play that's my thinking and I think that thinking in my opinion of course <laughs> it's my opinion so I think it makes sense which and it might explain why there has been no need since January 2018 to be chasing the cryptos because they're pretty much caught in a digestive period. Eric Mwadith, mother.com has always good luck, peace, and blessings. E. A C. S. Two. Whoop. Ooh.